Ryan, this is a 35-foot uh, hunter. It's built here in Florida, and it draws four and a half feet, so we have to be very careful going out through the channel, make sure that we stay close to the markers. If we get too far toward the island, we're gonna find, uh, we'll be hitting the bottom, and we don't wanna do that. So if we get too far to the left, and likewise, the water is very shallow. So if we stay just in here between the markers, and we'll be fine, and we'll get out to where the water's a little deeper. But it's a nice area to sail, because it never gets real rough out here. It's always fairly calm. Okay. And uh, we get nice breezes in the afternoon offshore like this, so uh, it's very fresh. about this. How do you feel when these cameramen are saying things like, think of Claudia Sheep, do you think, feel like James Bond all of the time? <laughs> no, I don't know about that. Um, no, I mean, um, it's enjoyable stuff. Um, you know, it's away from it all. Beautiful weather. I'm just enjoying myself. How do you handle this kind of probing by people all the time, the cameras? You, you seem to handle it very well, very coolly. Um, yeah, I mean, myself, um, you know, I've been... I've been in the public eye about six years now, so I mean, um, I've just grown up with it really. And instead of it being upon me straight, um, you know, all of a sudden, I've just grew up with it gradually. So I think most uh, young players at Manchester United, you know, are taught to handle the pressure. What do they teach you? How do they teach you? What things do they tell you? Um, I think for the start, when I was in the youth team, they treat you like um, an adult, and um, you know, you you've got to adjust. Otherwise, you know, if you can't handle the pressure, then um, you know, you, you won't make it. What annoys you? Probably the pressures outside of, of football, the, uh, the probing of your private life. And um, but I've got you, I've got used to that now. Why are you here? Why are you why are you in America? Wherever I go in Europe in the last few years, I've, I've been followed off the papers or get hassled off of British people. So um, you know, I, I can get away from it all. And I've got friends and family here, so. I suppose if you, you walk down the beach and you talk to a girl, even ask her the time, that's going to be kind of page three in a tabloid newspaper, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, you've only got to talk to a girl now and you know, going out there. So how important are your pals to you? Yeah, I mean, they're really important. Um, you know, they treat me as, as anyone else, really. They keep my feet on the ground. Um, you know, I've known them a long time. What's it like going out with them? I mean, do, do they look out for you? Yeah, I mean, um, I think we all look out for each other, but, um, you know, when we do that, when we do go out then, you know, they're brilliant. Give me some indication of how you fit in with them. Um, well, as I say, you know, that I'm just one of the lads, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not anything else, really. How do they knock you down to size? Come on, give us an example. Was, <laughs> just, um, you know, if I've had a bad game, really, you know, or I miss an easy chance in a game, and they'll let me know about it. The superstars out. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. And 
Giggs finishing with the real class. Giggs is away here. This could be two. It is. Ryan Giggs. Here's Giggs. Lovely goal. Beautiful delay. He's there again. And he's gone again. Giggs. The young man is an undoubted star. The more to come for Manchester United. And from Ryan Giggs, the red. Very, very interesting young man, and very sincere and true professional for his age. You know, to say he's only 22, he's much older in his way. He's developed over the last probably two or three years. And now is a true, what I call a, a true professional. Not just on the field, but off the field as well. And uh, I think he's going to go a long way. As far as his career is concerned, it's only just started. He's such a gifted young player. It's a bit special, yeah. He's um, at special pace. He was even at 11. He was frighteningly quick. He was um, electric, really, to be honest. Um, but as he got older, he just got better and better. Football skills, everything really. Just, you knew he was going to make it. Even when he was 14 and he went for his England trials, he's, I mean, he flew through them. No problem whatsoever. <laughs> Playing Welsh rules. Welsh, Welsh volleyball. I actually thought he could play for England. But <laughs> we had quite a, quite a neat debate about it. And uh, he is Welsh and he, he, he's the only Wales he could play for. So, But he is very patriotic. Very. <laughs> His downside is when he gets a little bit uh, forgetful. And uh, some of the times, you know, he, he forgets to do this, he forgets to ring, or he forgets to bring a ticket or bring in whatever thing. So I actually have to do a lot of the thinking for him. Well, he Usually timekeeping and all that sort of thing, he's mustered, but forgetting, he just forgets, he forgets where he puts things and usually basically just loses credit cards and puts money down if he's forgot he put it there. You know, if I lost it, he could, I'd be heartbroken, but he just forgets where he puts things, basically, that's all. He's forever, forever asking us where he's put this or where he's put that, or... He's, he's quite forgetful. Uh, I would say Harry Swells is probably one of his best friends, uh, as well as a, a working relationship. Uh, he's a very close friend of Brian's, and if, he, if he's ever in any trouble or anything, Harry, Harry Swells is probably the first first person he speaks to. If Harry Swells says it's OK, then more often than not, he'll do it. And uh, I think oh, Harry kind of close. says if it's a good deal, he'll do it. And if, if it's a bit of a bum deal and it's going to tire him out or whatever affects his game, he won't do it. So I think he leaves that side of it to, to Harry. I consider my responsibility is a, is a responsibility, is to make certain that everything goes well for the future. I've done this with the other players I've looked after, and I think that is my, that's my role in life, is to make sure that when he finishes playing, then he'll be fine. The public perception is probably what the papers see. If, he was, if the papers saw him going out having a blast every week, then he'd be a great character. He'd also get a lot of bad press out of it. Everywhere he goes, he's got to be very careful with the people recognising him. And I think at times he just likes to lead a normal life and not be recognised. Especially when you go out shopping on a Saturday or just walking around town, really. He's, uh, he's world class. He's world class. Just excellent at what he does. Just a natural, just a natural young man.
What a nightmare it must be for a fullback these days, faced against this sort of ability. Just watch his feet if you can. I mean, he's so quick. Look at that. That's breathtaking. Did you ever have any doubts that he, he'd go on to, to do what he's done, or has he surprised you in any way? No, no doubts at all. No doubts whatsoever, you know, and I'm not just, you know, talking like of watching him now and he's sort of world-class player. He hasn't surprised me one bit, because he always took things on board, accepted criticism, you know, he's had his backside kicked many, many times by me, and he's just got on with it. He hasn't turned around and sort of think, oh, well, I'm, I'm a super little player and... I'm not going to have this and I'm not going to have that. He's accepted it all. Well, um, you say you told him off. Any, anything that's sticking in your mind, any Ryan Gig stories that, you know, you make us laugh or, or anything that, that's happened to you? Have you, ever, have you said, oh, for God's sake, or whatever? I don't know any stories about women. <laughs> <laughs> He realises a lot of the young girls that come chasing after him are doing it to actually promote themselves. And sooner or later, they get kicked into touch. Uh, yeah, I must admit, he's pulled some stunners. Will Ryan ever settle down? Yes, he, he will do. He will do, because home life is very, very important. Family life is extremely important to him. He loves children. He loves kids. What do you think Mrs Giggs will look like? Uh, she'll be, yeah, she'll be tall, nice looking, probably want lots of children. Of all of the girlfriends that he's had, I suppose the, the media girls, which ones would you have uh, swapped with him? Uh, I would have had to go for Danny Barber.